Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for the 13th of August through the 19th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. My readings are typically love readings. We will see whatever comes up. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Coins, doing quite well, quite well. I'm quite happy where I'm at. Feeling quite abundant with who I am, comfortable, living comfortably. I'm enjoying my life as it is. I may not want to see the truth. Because I'm fine right where I'm at. I don't even need to be a part of this. It hurts. I'd, I'd rather fake it till I make it. I'm comfortable. Like I said, feeling quite comfortable. You are. I'm quite comfortable where I'm at. But there is an offer, a message of love coming your way. But the hurt is still fresh. The hurt is still perme permeating. I'd rather be alone. I don't need to deal with this shit. Somebody is going through some sort of emotional disappointment when there is a new offer coming in or there's a new offer around, but still mentally stuck on the past, but fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm good. Thank you. Oh, not wanting to sacrifice myself. <laughs> Come on now. Why would I want to get myself involved with a new love when it's just going to fall apart anyway and I'm quite fine where I'm at? Somebody is, is uh, holding themselves hostage for fear. Of upheaval. Somebody has a solid offer that they're making. Somebody is trying to offer you something, Gemini. Justice is being served in your favor because you've held your head up high. Because you're abundant. Because you defended yourself. I feel as though you are probably going to receive a message. Perhaps. From somebody that has hurt you pretty badly. 
the message of, you know, apology, love, whatever, from somebody that hurt you and disappointed you in the past. Perhaps you've been waiting for this apology or message or whatever. And you, you, maybe you thought it was never going to come. And maybe you're just fine with it not coming. Either way, I believe the message is coming. Somebody is offering you a stable, happy, long-term commitment. But you may not see it. You may not want to see it because you're protecting yourself. You may sabotage the whole thing because you don't want no disaster. I'm fine. I'm good. I got my own shit together. I don't need some... I'm trying to be nice here. Jackass coming in here. And messing up what I've done. Messing up my work. Messing up who I am. But. These are both completions. The ten of cups with the ten of coins. There's an opportunity for a relationship here. That could lead to something long term. Very long term. With a lot of happiness. It's something that you deserve. If you can let go of the mental conflict, the fear, and step outside of your comfort zone and let somebody love you. Somebody wants to offer you love. That's what I see. Or somebody is offering you love. But the mental conflict, you've been independent for quite some time. Or you are independent, or you you know what it's like to be independent. Your independence has served you well. And now you're being asked to give up your independence for a relationship. You may have your guard up so much that you may not accept this opportunity for something really beautiful. It looks like it could be beautiful. You know, when you've been independent for quite some time, it's hard. It's hard. Maybe you've been independent for nine months. Maybe nine years. Who knows? Could be longer, could be less, could be ten months, could be ten years. Who knows? Somebody has to step out of their comfort zone. Let go of the mental turmoil, the mental conflict. And stop being so defensive and let their guard down. Break the shield around their heart. There's a welcome offer that, you know, perhaps you really do want it. Deep, deep down, you want this. You want this love. But the need to not see it, to protect yourself is so great. I feel as though it's your turn with the Justice card. You're going to have to make a decision in regards to this offer. Do you want this relationship or not? One card fell out. What am I going to clarify? Oh my God, the 10 of coins and the 10 of coins, I didn't even know. And this is a contradiction. Do you want this solid, stable commitment or not? Yes or no? There's an opportunity for a new beginning and for a relationship. And you're going to have to choose. Do you want it or not? That is the damn truth. There's been some feuds. There's been some problems in the past. Perhaps with other relationships. Or even if this is a reconciliation. I don't know. 
but you're going to have to overcome the lack that there was so that you can be stable and secure and solid. The same card, one's reversed, one's upright. It's contradictory. And it's duality, just like you, Gemini. Isn't that just wonderful? Isn't that what you need, right? So back and forth, back and forth. And that, that may be where you're at. I want this, I don't. I want this, I don't. I like my independence, I don't. Do you or don't you? You have to make a decision. You have an opportunity for a relationship. Do you want it, yes or no? Commitment. It's about commitment. Prosperity, abundance. You're afraid, seven of wands, seven of wands, both reversed, to let your guard down. You've got your guard up so far for fear of getting involved with anybody that is false. You know, it feels as though there, you need to give yourself a break. You do. You need to give yourself a break. Let your guard down. Do you want to be independent forever? It's time to see things from a new perspective. That's the hangman reversed. It's time to really allow yourself to stop guarding, to let somebody in. The fear of sacrifice is great with the hangman and the tower card. Fear of upheaval, fear of breakdown. You need to take that, you need to take that blindfold off and step outside of your comfort zone. Or throw away the opportunity. Do you want to throw away the opportunity? Because there's a solid opportunity being offered to you, but you may not even see it. You may feel like somebody has come to sweep you right off your feet. And maybe they have. Somebody's coming in or they have come in to sweep you off your feet. You're falling right in love or you will fall right in love or you're afraid to fall in love. Because you're afraid they might not have any follow through. So the best bet would just to keep my guard up and not let them in. But there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. A transformation and this is an awakening it's time to see life through new lenses an end of one phase a beginning of another the end of insecurity these are insecurities you're letting your own insecurities inhibit you from having a relationship with somebody a new relationship somebody that is genuine that's what it looks like to me. I thought I took all those out. Guess I didn't. Yeah, you're reluctant. You're reluctant to let somebody in. For fear that they're a player. Protecting yourself 100% all the way. Protection mode. Lack of faith, lack of trust, self-doubt. I doubt this is going to work, so I'm just going to protect myself. I'm going to keep myself behind this wall and, and not, let the, not let myself get too committed to this because they're only going to hurt me anyway, so I'm just going to keep my block up, my shield up, because I'm just, just fine, independent. I like my independence. That's what I know. I'm safe there. Fear that any, anybody that comes your way is just going to hurt you. 
There's no rush. Take your time with this. Let go of the fear. Believe. Have faith. Trust. This could lead to a commitment. A long-term solid commitment that could lead go to marriage. But that hurt from the past is so great that you're stalling it. You're only hurting yourself in the long run. There's resentment and bitterness from a past hurt that you are allowing to control you. Control your happiness. You need to have faith and believe in this. You're afraid to give up your independence. But yet, you don't really want to be alone either. You know, you've, you've been the boss of your life for forever, right? You're the boss and you like being the boss. You're protecting yourself, very protective of your heart. But I think this could be a soulmate connection. You have to make a decision. This person could be very, very well suited for you. And they have a lot to offer. Try to stay positive. I feel like you have a positive offer, a positive connection that could, that's pretty exciting. Let your guard down, let them in. Step outside of your comfort zone. This could lead to marriage and commitment. Long-term happiness, a lot of happiness. So I feel as though you're receiving an offer, Gemini, from somebody that is very well suited for you. But your fear of upheaval, your fear of, of a liar, false foundation, your fear of, of bullshit is so great that you're unable to see the true intentions of this offer. Somebody has a genuine offer and I think that you should give it a chance. That's my advice. Have faith and trust. Believe. Believe. Have believe in it. There it is. Ooh, could be a reconciliation. Now, this doesn't have to be, this could be a reconciliation with the person you're with now. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you go back to your independence. You know, you're back and forth. And I see the back and forth. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This person loves you. Whether it's somebody that you're with right now and you're on the outs with them because, you know, you're protecting yourself, whatever. Someone from your past that you have known before, maybe even when you were a child, maybe, you know, maybe it's a past life, I don't know. Somebody is returning to your life. And this person has good intentions for you. I would say go with it. Could lead to something really, really happy. And that's what I have for Gemini August 13th through the 19th.